These are the two most vital components that decide how fast you go with a modern internal combustion engine. Before this, they would be connected by a cable. Now they're connected by wires electronically. While technically you could send a wire straight from here to here, there will usually be a computer in between that will alter things a bit. Today we're going to take apart this throttle pedal and see what's inside. We'll save this throttle body for another video. So there's the front panel removed. So here's what the inside looks like without the spring in the way. It just swipes back and forth. If this shaft here gets worn out or the inside here gets worn out, there'll be a little play in this pedal. This piece right here keeps it in line with the top. In here you can see where it was making contact with the top and scraping a little bit. The odd thing here is we haven't encountered anything electrical so far. The closest we've come is this piece here happens to have some metal on it. And because of the way the pedal goes, that piece of plastic with metal on it just slides in and out through here. This pedal has two springs in it to keep it feeling the way people expect a gas pedal to feel. Basically all the springs really have to do is push the pedal back up when your foot is coming off of the pedal. There's also some foam in there that's just to make sure that as this moves in and out, the springs don't touch each other. It would be really annoying if your pedal made this sound every time you used your gas pedal. Next, let's get into the electronic side. This has six pins in it, so you know something's gotta be going on in there. This came right out, and it looks like these just push up against whatever metal contact they need to make contact with. There's a circuit board in there, and it kinda just sits in there. See how this board kind of has a curved section to it? There's a metal trace on there that makes a few circles around, and if you run electricity through a coil, it creates a magnetic field. Part of this board generates the magnetic field, and part of it senses that, and what it's looking for is this piece of metal that we found on the other side of the case, and as you step on the pedal, it moves through this area, and will affect that magnetic field in different ways, interprets it with these integrated circuits, then the electrical signal will come and go from these contacts. On the other side of this is where you plug it in. So here are all the parts of the pedal assembly. Mechanically, it's pretty simple. It's a lever where your foot will push on it one way, the spring presses on it the other way. Basically, all you're doing with the pedal is moving this piece of plastic with the piece of metal attached to it through a magnetic field. That magnetic field is generated and sensed by electricity flowing through this plug here through these contacts onto the board, generating a magnetic field right in the center here, being interpreted by these integrated circuits, and the signal is sent back out to the ECU through that same connector. If you have any questions about any of this, let me know in the comments below. I might not be able to answer every question you have about this chip here, but perhaps someone else that comes across this video might know more about it. I'd appreciate you giving this video some positive feedback if you learned something. And don't forget, I've got that other video taking apart the throttle body as well. Consider subscribing too. I make a lot of automotive content, but this part disassembly stuff right here is one of my favorite types of videos to make. I hope to see you in the next Car Simplified video. Thanks for watching.